The museum is situated on North Harbor Drive along the waterfront. It was established in 1948 as the San Diego Maritime Museum. The museum's fleet includes sailing ships, steam-powered vessels, and submarines. The Star of India, built in 1863, is the museum's centerpiece and the world's oldest active sailing ship. The Star of India was built in 1863 on the Isle of Man in the United Kingdom. Originally named Euterpe, it was initially a full-rigged iron ship designed for the jute trade. Euterpe made 21 trips around the globe during its time as a cargo ship. In 1901, it was purchased by the Alaska Packers Association and renamed the Star of India. The Star of India then became a salmon hauler in the Bering Sea, transporting fish from Alaska to California. It was eventually retired in 1923 after decades of commercial service. The San Diego Zoological Society saved the ship from scrapping, and it arrived in San Diego in 1927. In 1962, the Star of India was designated a National Historic Landmark. The ship was meticulously restored to its 1901 appearance and transformed into a museum ship. HMS Surprise is a replica of a Royal Navy frigate built in 1970 in Nova Scotia, Canada.
Originally named the Rose, it was created as a replica ship for maritime museums. The ship gained international fame after its appearance as the HMS Surprise in the film Master and Commander the Far Side of the World. The ship is a 24-gun frigate showcasing the naval architecture and weaponry of the 18th century. It is often used for educational programs, allowing visitors to experience life on a Royal Navy vessel. The term surprise refers to a type of small, fast, and maneuverable ship used for strategic advantage. The HMS Surprise is part of the museum's efforts to preserve and promote maritime heritage. The ship has participated in various maritime festivals and events, attracting enthusiasts from around the world. Visitors can explore different areas of the ship, including the gun deck, mess area, and captain's quarters. The HMS Surprise provides insights into naval warfare and life at sea during the age of sail. The San Salvador is a replica of Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo's flagship, which sailed into San Diego Bay in 1542. The ship's name, San Salvador, means Holy Savior in Spanish. The replica was built between 2010 and 2015 by skilled craftsmen and volunteers at the Maritime Museum of San Diego. San Salvador is a galleon, a type of sailing ship used by the Spanish and Portuguese during the Age of Discovery. The ship's construction involved traditional shipbuilding methods, showcasing historical accuracy. It has a length overall, including bowsprit of approximately 93 feet and a beam of 24 feet. San Salvador features three masts and a variety of sails, reflecting the rigging typical of 16th century galleons. The ship has a wooden hull and is designed to resemble the early Spanish vessels that explored the California coast. The Medea is a steam yacht built in 1904 by the German shipyard G. Seebeck AG in Bremerhaven. Originally named Comet 2, it was commissioned by wealthy industrialist Sir William Burton for his daughter, who was married to Sir Alexander Henderson.
The yacht's name was changed to Medea in 1912 by its new owner, Sir Thomas Lipton, a British tea magnate and yachting enthusiast. Medea is known for its luxurious interior, showcasing the elegance of early 20th century yacht design. The yacht features a distinctive twin screw design, reflecting advancements in marine engineering of its time. Medea served as a private vessel for Sir Thomas Lipton and was often used for entertaining guests. The yacht has a length overall, including bowsprit, of approximately 196 feet and a beam of about 24 feet. The USS Dolphin is a research submarine operated by the United States Navy. Dolphin is unique in design, featuring a twin hull configuration known as a swath small waterplane area twin hull. The swath design enhances stability and provides a smoother ride, making it well suited for research purposes. Dolphin was commissioned in 1968 and served primarily as a research and development submarine. It was the Navy's first operational SWAT submarine, designed for deep diving cap. It set a world record in 1968 by diving to a depth of 3,000 feet in the Pacific Ocean. The submarine's unique design allows for increased stability in rough seas, providing a stable platform for scientific equipment. Dolphin participated in various scientific experiments, including acoustic research and underwater sound propagation studies. The submarine played a crucial role in testing sonar systems and evaluating their effectiveness. Dolphin's missions included studies of marine biology, oceanography, and underwater geology. It was equipped with a variety of scientific instruments and sensors for data collection during research missions. The submarine was involved in Cold War era research, focusing on advancements in underwater technology. Dolphin's contributions to research include studies on submarine propulsion systems and underwater acoustics. The submarine featured a unique propulsion system with a combination of diesel electric and gas turbine engines. Dolphin had a crew of around eight officers and 50 enlisted personnel during its active service. The submarine had the capability to deploy remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, for underwater exploration. Dolphin was decommissioned in 2007 after nearly four decades of service. The submarine is now part of the Maritime Museum of San Diego's fleet and is open to the public for tours.
The Berkeley is a historic steam ferry built in 1898 by the Union Iron Works in San Francisco. It was originally named the Berkeley and operated as a passenger and automobile ferry in the San Francisco Bay Area. Berkeley was part of the Southern Pacific Railroad's fleet, transporting passengers and goods across the bay. The ferry played a significant role in the transportation of people to and from San Francisco during the early 20th century. It has a length overall, including bowsprit, of approximately 249 feet. Berkeley is a side-wheel paddle steamer, showcasing the technology used in steam-powered vessels of its time. The ferry could accommodate both passengers and vehicles, contributing to the growth of the Bay Area. During World War I, the ferry was used as a floating barracks for shipyard workers in the Bay Area. Berkeley is one of the last remaining ferry boats of its kind on the west coast of the United States. The ferry was retired from active service in 1958 and later donated to the Maritime Museum of San Diego. It became a museum ship, allowing visitors to experience the history and charm of steam ferry travel.